Everyone in Norway knows what TV Akunen is. It's one of the most popular nationwide fundraising events that almost every Norwegian has a relationship with. In the tradition of Dugnad, we rally to a different cause every year, and it is a tradition that makes us proud while donating to a worthwhile cause. From kids selling waffles and juice, to big corporations donating money, competing with one another. It's like Norway's country mother, Gru Harlem Brundtland, once said, it's typical for Norwegians to be good. Okay guys, so broadly speaking, was Gro Harlem Brundtland right? Is it typical for Norwegians to be good? Yes, I, I believe so. I feel like uh, we are inclined to be inherently good. And we have a welfare system that helps people who are in need. And this creates like a safety net for us. Like when I grew up, like we didn't have much. So this system really helped me and my family. So. For me, I feel like Norwegians are inclined to be inherently good. What are your views on volunteering and giving today? I mean, we're Norwegians. We are so lucky to live here, to be brought up here. So I think, I mean, of course we have to give and uh, give from what we have. And even though some of us may not have so much money, there's always other things to give. Uh, so I think everyone in Norway uh, have a chance to give something to charity or, yeah. And I also believe like Norway is one of the biggest con contributors to like foreign aid in like other countries. They give a lot of money and it's like focused on women and education and everything. So it's very good of Norway to, <laughs> of course of us, to give so much to other countries that really need it. Norway is like one of the biggest contributors of foreign aid in the world. So we give a lot of money to those in need. And for example, for me, I think it's really important with education and women and women's rights and everything. Yeah. In the United States, a lot of the volunteering comes from religious origin. Different local churches got involved with issues that matter to them. This continued with big organizations like the YMCA, the Salvation Army, and the Red Cross. And in the last 10 years, we have seen an increase in volunteering 